Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's exciting to see you guys today. Um, I know that we missed you on yesterday, uh, but we had some important things that came up that we had to take care of, but we're grateful to God. It didn't stop us from uh, reflecting. It didn't stop us from thinking about how important El Yul is. It didn't stop us from that, but once again, we're here today. So you guys should have still continued on uh, on yesterday, uh, really focusing on what God is going to be doing, especially in the coming new year. Um, as we get, I mean, guys, look at it. You guys, have, we are 22 days. So number one, we were past 21 days. So a habit should have been established if you guys really uh, uh, thinking about, you know, what God is doing on the inside of you, a point of humility, a heart posture, uh, true reflection, um, <clears throat> and just so many different other things. So a lot of stuff should have been established. So you should be waking up with a mindset like, hey, I'm good. I'm ready uh, to go into this new year. Now I'm just finishing out this last week and just putting, you know, crossing the T's and dotting the I's and putting the finishing touches uh, as we go into what Rosh Hashanah, the actual new year, and that is coming up real soon. Uh, actually, within uh, several days, we're on the twenty second day, so we got about eight days uh, left before we get into that. So uh, the good thing is, is that <clears throat> I think God is establishing a way for us because we did not, we're not able to come with BBD Hill Ministries on this past Wednesday. So we're looking to come again tomorrow at 7 p.m. So that's new information for you guys. We're looking to do BBD Hill Ministries tomorrow at 7 p.m. to cover Rosh Hashanah to make sure that you're good. And then also we're looking to come again for another day uh, to make sure that we cover Yom Kippur so you are prepared. So you'll be getting not only those daily doses, but then you guys will get that dose of coming up into what um, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. So we'll be covering both of those different things. But before I get into our nugget for today, uh, let me once again wake you up because you guys probably didn't hear me on yesterday from your home. What comes to your mind when you hear that? <laughs> what is God stirring on the inside of you when you hear the shofar? What is he reminding you of when you hear that? I know about me, it reminds me of his love. <laughs> it reminds me of my shortcomings. But more so, it reminds me of his love. That he's given me an opportunity to get it right. And that's powerful within itself. So let's dig into this. You know, I, I, can, I, I can get lost in the moment. So we're going to try to, uh, you know, reel it back in. Just give me one second here. So today's nugget is about charity. And I just have just a couple notes here that I want to make sure that I cover. Because I'll start talking and I'll get off this thing like, man, I forgot to mention this. Forgot to mention that. So I just got me just a couple notes here so that I can cover those. But during this time of El Yul, it is, and I may have mentioned it before a little bit, but it is a time of reflection, but it's also a time of charity uh, that, you know, we are to help our brothers, our sisters, or someone in need, and we're always supposed to be doing that. But then there's a greater emphasis during this time of helping, you know, those are in need. Uh, I thought it was very interesting because I was looking at it, and we know the actual chapter of love, uh, of course, coming from 1 Corinthians 13, uh, and we know, and actually, I Pastor Sean taught on that. Uh, so go to uh, um, Behold Christian Center, uh, streaming uh, Behold Christian Center, and you can see that message, very powerful message. I encourage you to go check that out on our website, or you can check it out on our, what? We have the link for our Facebook page, and we also have it on YouTube, because that's where we stream for the ministry. Uh, but just talking about the actual love. Uh, and when they talk about charity, in most in, in, in that instance, it refers to love. Uh, now, charity itself is only mentioned kind of like one time within the Bible, uh, and that's in by what Acts 9 36, and it refers to Dorcas, a woman full of good works and charity. And the Greek word here means compassion as exercise towards the poor. Uh, 
and things of that nature. And of course, the King James Version translated as almsgiving. So when we think about that actual charity, that's something that's important that's mentioned uh, throughout the actual, uh, as far as love throughout the actual Bible, that if we have the love of Christ on the inside of us, then we're helping people. We're, you know, doing things for people. And sometimes people think that it has to consist of a lot of money. No, it does not. You don't have to have just a hundred dollars, uh, to bless somebody with just to be a blessing and just show love. But there are different other ways, little things that we can do is simply helping someone, uh, you know, being, uh, 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 being in the parking lot and, you, you know, you see an elderly, you know, pushing a cart all the way back to the uh, cart mart and it's like real far away, taking that cart, like, you know what, i get that for you, I'll take that, I'll do that. It's just those little simple things of charity, helping an individual. You see somebody struggling with something, you see different things here. I mean, we should be examples uh, to people on how to love, how to help, how to do things. Uh, and this is a time for us to what establish charity. So if it's something that you're not used to doing or not, you know, just a person that does it all the time, I'm not saying that every time that you go anywhere, but if Holy Spirit speaks to you and give you and tells you an opportunity to be a blessing to someone, you do that no matter where it is, no matter what you do, because that's how people a lot of times identify us as being different when we're doing that charity, when we're showing that love. So love can consist of even, you know, you fixing a meal and then you, 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 you see someone that's hungry, you know, you bless your neighbor with something or you on the street and you, you know, once again, you know, uh, passing out food to help the needy, uh, you know, example can be you seeing someone in need and you just bless them with a meal. I mean, all these different things. And like I said, we take it, you know, step by step, but we do, once again, we ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us. So if Holy Spirit puts it on your heart then you do that. But once again, during this time of El Yul, uh, we are showing love because God, of course, has shown us love, but we are out doing charity during this time. So that's something that's important on today. And I, that's the nugget on today that I want to share with you guys was showing that love, showing that charity. Uh, and when you think about it, like I said, I think charity, like I said, only charity was mentioned one time throughout the actual Bible, but we know the translation of what it means and what it refers to. Uh, and we want to definitely keep that in mind. So what's your charity? What have you done already? You know, we, we always would, you know, uh, always like to hear from you guys. Um, if you, 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 if you're, you know, need I ideas on how to be a blessing or whatever that nature, you know, we definitely want to be able to help you. So you can, uh, email us, you can instant message us. You know, we have all different ways for individuals to contact us and reach out to us. But we always want to hear from you. That is something that's very important to us. Uh, and, uh, you know, we just do want to just take advantage of just the things that God is doing. So with that being said, we are coming close to a close of El Yule. So, um, like I said, we said it was only 30 days leading up to that actual point of that. So, and then we go into Rosh Hashanah. I'm excited about that and what God is going to be doing from there. Uh, I thank you guys for joining me, uh, you know, on this morning, uh, and just really, you know, helping, uh, out with, uh, encouraging, you know, those are the powerful things that you guys are posting, uh, in our chat section and our live comments. So we thank you guys for that. Uh, as we get ready to come to a close on this, once again, uh, we always encourage you guys to, you know, sow into this ministry, to partnership with us, to be a blessing. So uh, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, uh, please do. You know, we've been posting information like all week long on how to. So after 21 days, you should definitely know exactly what I'm going to say, what I'm going to. But then you also should know uh, how to sow to us, of course, through our cash app, through BBD Hill Ministries. Uh, and then also we have our Zelle. Uh, which I don't believe that I have this one. Oh, yes, I do. I do have our Zelle on here. And also, that's our email address for you to email us, to reach out to us. If you're trying to get some information to us, if you have questions, uh, or also uh, if you're interested in our partnership. You know, there are some things that we are going to be developing going forward uh, for our monthly uh, 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 partnerships that partner with us. Uh, to, you know, just show what we're doing. Uh, they'll get extra information pertaining to certain things and what we do in BBD Hill Ministries. So look forward to those things as our partnership 
uh, uh, solidifies even more so in the upcoming months. So we're looking forward to greater things. We're looking forward to uh, bigger and better. And uh, like I said, once again, we always want to hear from you on ways uh, that we can improve that you may see uh, in reaching and connecting with you guys. Uh, so I'm excited once again today to be before you. Uh, this is your nugget for today. I'm Apostle Benton Hill with BBD Hill Ministries uh, and of course Prophet is uh, uh, Demita Hill and Benjamin Hill, uh, uh, Brother Benjamin. Uh, so we're, we're excited about you know what God is doing and what's coming before you. So once again, uh, if the Lord say the same tomorrow at seven o'clock, we'll be looking uh, to come forward again to uh, bring you and prepare you guys for Rosh Hashanah and uh, teaching about it and also preparing about what you do on that day uh, as a preparation. And then we're looking to come again uh, sometime before Yom Kippur to prepare you and let you know what you need to do on that day uh, and then, you know, go from there. And then we have Sukkot, guys. So then it's a lot of stuff that's happening. And for Sukkot, it is a whole week celebration, uh, not just one day. Uh, so we're excited about just those things. So uh, with that being said, I'm Apostle Benton Hill, and we are out.